entire world, Alan. I feel the same way, but... What? You make it sound as if I'd been questioning your love and you tried to reassure me. Oh, no. No, I, I, uh, I just want to tell you. Look, I'll, I'll call you back first chance I get. I love you. I love you too, Monica. Bye-bye. Josephine Morelli was just admitted? Yeah. She's in there with Rick. Now, I, I don't know what he, good he can do for her unless we get that plasma. I mean, we are all just totally helpless without it. I, uh, I checked in on Lee earlier. And, uh, he seems to be holding his own. Yeah, he got that. Steve told me he's going to move him out of his room, put him in one of those emergency cots out in the hallway. Now that he's at least over the danger point. You know, bed space is just getting more critical by the minute. I... You. I don't think you've heard a word of insane. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, I've really just been out of it today. I mean, I don't know what time it is. As a matter of fact, I don't even know what day it is. Do you want some coffee? No. No, thanks. I know what you mean about, uh... Time. I, I lose track of it myself up here. But I can help you now. Let's see. It is almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and what they tell me is a very dreary February day outside. February. You know, the last time I really remember anything, we were celebrating Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that seems like another lifetime, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, I spoke to Scotty this morning. I had to give him a report on the uh, fleet. And he asked me to remind you that you were supposed to put in a good word with Rick for him. I, I told him that I didn't think you'd forgotten, in spite of everything going on up here. Well, uh, to be honest with you, Gail, I really don't want to get into any kind of a personal discussion with Rick, if I can possibly avoid it. Oh? Yes, I think I have uh, presumed too much on our friendship as it is. Has Rick told you that? No, Gail, it's just a feeling I have. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Mikey, you seem, uh, you know, more jumpy than he did last night. Look, maybe you ought to talk to Steve. You know, get him to transfer you back to cardiology. Well, being up here in this wall-to-wall -wall sickness is so disturbing to you, then just remove yourself from it. I, I know Steve would understand completely. Gail, okay, it, uh, it isn't the epidemic, it isn't um, feeling helpless that we don't have any plasma. It's something inside me that's making me crazy. Was it what we were talking about last night when Rick walked in? You know, that you almost looked embarrassed when he came in. Yes, of course I know, Gail. That is part of it. And I don't know what to do about it. I have tried my best to pretend that certain feelings for Rick are just over. But every time, it is, it's like some electrical shock that just, that happens. I mean, even working here, when we're concentrating solely on this job, it's there. If he touches me, if I touch him, it's there. And we both feel it. Monica. Look, I just think that you are feeling guilty about something that is very natural. Now, even though you love Alan very much, it doesn't eliminate the possibility of being attracted to someone else. You know, that, that's something that happens to, to most married couples one way or another sometime during their life. 
But the important thing is to realize that and to handle it. Gail! I don't believe it. This is the whole point. I am not handling it. I know it's wrong. I, I hate myself for doing it, but I can't seem to do anything about it. Well, well then, don't. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it's that simple. Don't do anything. Just ignore it. Maybe, maybe it'll all go away just as naturally as it started. No, it hasn't. And it won't. But you're right about feeling guilty. I do. So much so that I almost told Alan when I called him this morning. Just to ease my conscience. Oh, Monica! That, that would be the most stupid thing you could do. Why? Well, because of Alan's old jealousy, especially where Rick is concerned. I mean, to, to put all those kind of thoughts in Alan's head when they may not even be true with that was just... Well, I mean, you are punishing yourself enough. You, you don't have to punish Alan, too. Oh, only because I love him. I want to tell him how I feel. That is no proof of love. That is an example of just not being able to control your own emotions and just dumping it all on somebody else. <sighs> no, it would hurt him. It would hurt him so terribly. Don't you see that? Okay. I didn't say anything to him. I just, I just felt the urge. If that urge ever comes again, you just stifle it. Look, I'm sure that all of this is just a result of our being here, all locked up together in here. It is, it is very unnatural. But just, where do things get back to normal? And, and maybe the problem will solve itself. Yeah. Yeah, look, maybe you're right. Thank goodness, I, uh... I have you to talk about these things, too. If I didn't, I think I really would go crazy. I'm here for you, you know that. Whenever you need me. I do know that. And I depend on you. Look, I'm going to be... All right. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Really, I think maybe all I needed was just to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my schoolgirl hysterics. All right, if it'll help, use it. I wish I could be on it on the way back. Thanks, Daddy. Can I do anything for you, or is Alan taking care of everything? No, frankly, I'm glad he's gone. He makes me nervous. He's been so jumpy ever since uh, Monica's been quarantined inside that hospital. You know, I actually heard him walking around up there in the middle of the night. That old devil jealousy of his. No matter how much he says he's over it, he's not. He's jumpy because Monica is locked up with her old heartthrob. Excuse me, Daddy. Hello? Uh, oh, Tracy, it's Monica. Well, Monica, what a coincidence I was just talking about you. Really? Uh, is Alan there? No, I'm afraid not. You just missed him. Any message? Yes. Tell him I'll, I'll call him back later. And tell him I love him. All right. I don't think I have to write that one down. Listen, tell me, are things as bad as the papers say they are down there? Even worse. It's a hideous disease. How's Rick? Uh, fine. Why? Oh, no special reason. Just wondered. Give him my love. Goodbye. Bye, Monica. Daddy, is there anything I can do for you, or do you think you'd be all right for a little while alone this afternoon? I'll be fine. In fact, I'll prefer it. I'm tired of people fussing over me. Okay. I've got so many things to arrange, not the least of which is that class, and I've got to set some stuff up before it gets here. So I'll check on you later, okay? You'd be a good boy. How's it going out there? Oh, a lot 
better now that we have that plasma to deal with, but it's still going to be rough. It's going to take a lot of time. How long has Jeff been out? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, I just came in a few minutes ago. He was sound asleep then. Now well, he's exhausted. Know anyone who isn't? No. How's the tea? That's strong enough to help keep you on your feet. Uh, that's exactly what I need. Oh. These things are looking a little better out there this afternoon. Uh, is it afternoon already? <laughs> yes. Gee, time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Well, things are going to be a lot better, Monica. There's two shipments of plasma in the last 15 hours. And I guess the first time since this epidemic started, we've been able to give the plasma to the patients at the same time that they were admitted. It, it's true. Look, uh, I didn't mean to sound so cynical. I'd sound a lot more optimistic myself if I'd known that they found that carrier. Well, they will. I mean, they, they have to, or this thing is never going to end. How are you holding up? Oh, I'm all right. I just realized I don't think I've seen much of you in the last 24 hours. I've not talked to you, but I've not really seen you. Well, uh, they put me in the West Wing with the patients in the third stages. How is it over there? Not good. Al and I lost three patients during the night. Three? Even even with the plasma? Even with the plasma. I'm sorry, that's terrible. Just say that again. Well, I, at least I'm glad to know that it's uh, your professional duties that kept you from seeing me. For a while there, I was beginning to think you were deliberately avoiding me. Oh, well, I would say under the circumstances, it would be rather difficult for anyone to avoid anyone here, wouldn't you say? Okay. Yeah. Positive pressure, not your weather. I guess not, as a matter of fact, he is, right? Yes, he's here. He was sleeping, but I think the phone woke him. Just a second. Jeff, it's for you. For me? Special oh. operators, they got a message for you. Waking up? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, this is Dr. Weber. Who's calling? Jameson. 